What's up guys, it's your boy Zach, so bringing you episode number 15 of my Anthony Marshall player career mode on FIFA 16. In today's episode, as you can see, we'll start it off with a training session, then we'll head into some French team friendlies. I hope to play at least one of- oh, they're actually not friendlies, they're actually World Cup qualifiers for the 2018 World Cup, I believe it's in Russia. Um... I hope I'll play in at least one of the, these two games. Um, after that, we have a game against Arsenal, a game against Atletico Madrid, one against Aston Villa, one against Stoke, and one against um, Moscow in the Champions League as well. I hope that I'll be playing at least three games in this episode, but I'm going to head into the training right now. We've just passed the 83 rating mark, but I'm hoping to end the season as much better i'll switch the first one to uh chance creation um when i get to 80 volleys so that's why i'm keeping that one for now but what results can we get we actually got two b's and two c's which is not too bad but i'm gonna quit this one now um what can we do I'm gonna end the transfer window actually as you can see, I've failed all of my objectives. I've played only one game and I played really badly. Well, the whole team played really badly in my defence, but what can I say about it? We've got a rescheduled match for Aston Villa. It was moved one day earlier. Now um, we've got the transfer deadline day heading into this one, which is really annoying because I'm not doing anything. They should do an option like skip whole day in play career mode because you're not going to get anything or like skip until you're actually involved in something because like instead of pressing 10 times to skip one hour if you actually want to skip the whole game but um, I think that was West Brom that just signed uh, Kasri who actually signed for Sunderland in real life. You can see Chelsea brought in a couple of players. Halilovic being the standout in that bunch, but we're finally ending this uh, transfer deadline day. So we're heading into the Sweden game, and was I picked? I was not selected in today's squad, so we're gonna sim this one real quick. We've got Loris, Korcha, Laporte. Perrin, Tremolinas, Matuidi, Schneiderlin, Toulalan, Pogba, Griezmann and Benzema playing first. Benzema scored the first goal, we're actually not going to skip this one to be honest. Uh, Pogba scored the second. I hope I'll be playing against Bulgaria. Uh, Benzema scored a second one but uh, Ibrahimovic has scored one of his own. Uh, they're making substitutions. I think it will end 3-1. No, we've got a fourth one with Pera. So we're going to advance now and see if we get selected in the Bulgaria game. I just have to get rid of that notification because it always annoys me. But we are actually going to be playing against Bulgaria. Let's see what the squad looks like. We're going to play in blue, of course. We're playing a 4 one 2, one, two um, narrow. We've got Kostya, Mathieu, Koscielny, Loris, Tremoulinas, Matuidi, Schneiderlin, Toulalan, Pogba behind me and Martial. And um, Martial being us of course. And Lacazette up next to us. So basically I'm replacing uh, Benzema for this game. Um, so as you know my intros are live comments now. Um, and I what no and the gameplay will be post com so I'll see you guys um straight in with the I'm actually yeah I'll show you the Bulgaria lineup and then we'll get into the game. So guys this is what the Bulgaria lineup looks like. They've got no one that I actually know except from Popov as their cam there and they did actually bring on Berbatov later on in the game but in the ninth minute here we're already on the attack I kind of find some space, dribble past my defender, have a shot but it's blocked easily by them. We try and create something by a but they clear it. Then I actually told Loris to try and get to the ball there quickly, but it nearly fucked us. We had to do a goal line clearance. 
Then I put Lacazette through on goal and he missed an absolute sitter. I was sure I was uh, that I was going to get an assist there, but he managed to miss it somehow. I was really, really shocked because he is 84 rated on this game right now. Then I got past my defender here, tried to cut back inside, tried to finesse it, but it was um, blocked off, saved. Then uh, Schneider didn't score the rebound, but it was actually offside as you will see right now. Um, then the game was really boring. In the 73rd here, Pogba has it. He has a shot. It goes just over the bar. That would have been a nice goal. Then in the 82nd here, we actually get a free kick. I'm going to... And Pogba's going to take it. I was ready to get the rebound just in case, but he manages to hit the post and that would have been a really nice goal to win us the game. And that's actually already the end of the first game. That So that was a 0-0 draw against uh, Bulgaria. I only got a 6.1 match rate. Thing. And as you can see from the match stats, uh, Bulgaria only had one chance. We had uh, six shots, but only three on target. Then we headed into some training before the game against Arsenal. As per usual, we have our four sessions. Um, we got three Ds and one B, so that's really an average training session right there. Uh, we're just over uh, 83 rated right now. Then we head into the Arsenal game for which we weren't selected. Um, we're gonna sim it um, straight away. And it was a 2-1 win, uh, goals from Rooney and Schneiderlin for us. Then we have some training before the game against Atletico Madrid. Um, let's see what we can get here, 3-2-1. So we've got two C's and two D's, another very, very average training session. Um, kind of disappointed because I've not been progressing, but we head into the game against Atletico Madrid and as you can see I wasn't selected once again uh, we actually drew this one one all I believe uh, Damian scored for us and Koke scored for them then we're going to head into the Aston Villa game I was kind of disappointed uh, that I was not selected for this game because I thought I actually could have played in it uh, we won 1-2 though uh, the Pi scored a brace to get us the W and Shaw got a red card for that one then we're going to head into some training once again before the cup tie against Stevenage here. Um, as you can see, uh, we couldn't progress uh, stat-wise in this training session, but we did get uh, two Bs and two Cs, which is uh, better than any training session this episode. We weren't selected once again against Stevenage, being really disappointed because uh, I think they could play me uh, more often. Two goals by Rooney, one goal by Damien once again. But we finally played here in the game against Stoke. I was selected, I got an email again saying that I was in for the next match. And that basically I had to impress. So our lineup, we're playing in the red, I had to play them in their black and green colourway. Uh, we've got Pereira behind us, Depay, Mata, Schneiderlin, I think that was Fellaini, Blind, Jones, Rojo, Damian and Romero. So that's basically the second in for us, this is what Stoke are looking like. They've got Butland, Bar, Arsley, Walshie, Shawcross, Peters, Sidwell, Whelan, Shakiri, Arnautovic, Island, and Mami Biram Duf, which is actually a next Manchester United player in the ninth minute here. I just found some space and decided to try and crack it, see if I could score a wonder goal, maybe. But as you can see from this replay, it was wide of the goal. Then in the 10th minute here, I managed to steal the ball of them, put a through ball to Pereira, who manages to score um, by hitting uh, the, what's it called, the crossbar. Uh, and in, as you can see, a bad pass from Barzi, I think it was. I turned in my defender, found Pereira, and he actually shot, but um, he shot straight at Butland. Actually, Butland got a hand to it and pushed it on the crossbar, but that was a really nice goal before I actually saw that Butland. Had it, I thought um, that Pereira had absolutely banged it. But this was a really, really boring game. I found a uh, Massa, I believe it was, on the wing here. He crosses it in, but it's a bad cross, and that was basically our best chance for the game afterwards. Here you can see I'm on the defense. That could have been an absolute pen, but um, they their play was actually offside, so there wasn't any problem with that thrashing that I basically gave the man. Um, I got a 6.2 match rating. As you can see, the game actually 
found only three highlights, one being my shot, the goal, and um, a yellow card. So that was it for the first game, Stoke didn't even have a shot. We're going back into training this time, see if we can get um, a lot better. So I believe our dribbling could have went up, or our ball control, I think it was our ball control. But we've got two C's, one B and a D. So a very average training session once again, uh, not doing very well this episode. But that was before the CSK Moscow game. We're actually away in this one. Let's see what result we can get. So we actually lost 1-0. Uh, Musa scored a goal for them. But we're going to skip straight into the game against uh, Middlesbrough here. Um, I wasn't selected once again. But there are three, ep three games in this episode. I went um, beyond the one month mark to actually get three games for you guys because uh, I was actually selected to play for France once again so I was pretty sure that I would own that I would play one of the two um, international games but let's head into the game against Middlesbrough here uh, we actually won one two goals from Mata and Rooney uh, Downing scored the goal for um, Middlesbrough here then we're going to head into some training before the international break uh, a lot of our stats could have went up there, but we got an F, a D, a B, and another D, so that wasn't that good. Uh, our finishing uh, will be going up very soon, I believe, in our attacking position as well. But I wasn't selected for the first international qualifier against uh, Belgium, and that was actually a 3 3 draw. Goals from Payet, Griezmann, and Benzema for us. And now we're going to head on to the, what's it called? The uh, next game against Poland. I was actually selected for this one. So I was really happy because it is an important game. It is the qualifier for the World Cup in 2018. So I had to impress and show that I had my place in the team. As you can see, our lineup is Martial, Benzema, Payet, uh, Toulalan, Matuidi, Pogba, Tremolinas, Perrin, Kocheny, Debuchy and Loris. I kind of fucked up on the Poland uh, lineup. You you can pause it if you want to. I find the ball here, dribble my defender, have a shot. It hits the post, but Trimelinas gets it back. Um, he kind of fidgets about the box here, manages to cross it in and find Pogba, who is wide open for an easy goal there. I was really disappointed that I didn't manage to score that shot in the what was it like the 13th minute uh, because I got past my defender very very easily just accelerated like once and he was basically gone but Trimelinas there had, uh, did an excellent job finding Pogba who was uh, basically unmarked I think it was Glick or Glick was a 34 maybe but that was uh, Paul's second goal in the qualifiers then we got another chance here in they got a chance here in the 42nd that went just past the post um but that was covered by uh, Loris. Then in the 42nd here, Mathieu Debussy actually gets a chance for us, but it goes wide of the net. Then in the 45th, they actually get a chance via uh, Robert Lewandowski, but it was an easy save. Uh, there, they could have scored easily because uh, the keeper actually got like blocked off and couldn't reach the ball. We've got another chance here in the 66th, I believe it was. Benzema absolutely smashing it, but it's a knife save from the goalkeeper and we did actually get a corner from it so that was a really good play I was at the far post I decided to move front call for it and that was a banging header and that finally I've scored a goal finally I've scored a goal and it was actually a nice goal as well uh, the composure on that header was absolutely incredible as you can see I make the run and get to the ball easily and it's an excellent finish uh, from the header Chesney wasn't that far from getting it, but I don't believe um, that any keeper would have got him, uh, except maybe De Gea or Neuer. And yeah, I was really, really happy to have scored because I thought it had been a long time. Here in the 77th, I managed to create a chance. I put Matuidi through. I thought he was going to shoot, but he manages to fiddle around. I called for it, and I actually wasn't expecting him to pass it to me, so I was spamming the shoot button and I absolutely skied it but that was it for the third game and I'll see you guys in the outro after the stats 
I've got a, I believe it was like a 6.8 or something like that, 6.6 .6 rating, uh, the match stats were basically equal, we just took our opportunities, so I'll see you guys in the outro. So guys, we're just playing three games this episode, I co kind of contradicted what I said in the last episode about uh, advancing once, one month at a time episode wise. But I really wanted to get three games for you in this episode and I was kind of sure that I would play at least one of the two France games. France games, sorry for saying it like that. Um, and uh yeah so i managed to get uh three games for you guys um finally got a goal as well so we're gonna kind of recap what we did in this episode we actually went from uh where were we we were here so we skipped a we went from friday the like second of uh september to the 12th of october in this episode we um simmed this game against sweden that we won 4-1 I then played against Bulgaria, but we uh, drew 0-0 in a very boring game. And then I sent another game against Arsenal that we won 2-1. Then we drew against Atletico in another sim game. Then we won 2-1 against Aston Villa in a sim game. Then uh, we won 3-0 against Stevenage in the Capital One Cup in a sim game. Then the second game that I actually played was against Stoke City in the league that we managed to win 1-0. I actually got the assist for the only goal. That was that game was even uh, more boring than the first one. Um, if you, I thought, I think that um, I'm pretty sure that Stoke literally had zero shots in that game. That we had like two, and that was like the goal and me just shooting randomly, I believe. Then we went on to sim this game against CSK Moscow that we actually lost. Then we simmed another one against Middlesbrough that we did win 2-1. Then there was the uh, international match against Belgium that we drew 3-3. Three three. A lot of goals in that one would have loved to participate. Then we um, played against Poland. Um, I was kind of in involved in both goals. I scored one and uh, I nearly scored a second one actually. I was. No, I actually could have scored three in that game because I hit the post. Then we got the ball back, crossed it in, Pogba scored. I scored the header on the corner in the like 70th minute or something like that. And then I missed an absolute sitter in like the 80th or something. I didn't expect my Tweedy to pass it to me and then I like. I was bashing the circle button, the shoot button, and so it went miles over, but I could have got a hat-trick in that, in that game, realistically. If you count that, I'll get a 100% shot conversion, but I believe I could have done it in that episode. We're just going to look at some standings right here. We're actually second in the league, one point behind Chelsea, uh, Spurs are third, Man City are fourth, and surprisingly, uh, Sunderland are fifth. Cardiff City, West Ham, and Middlesbrough are in the relegation zone early on this season. But I actually want to check out um, the FIFA World Cup qualifiers standings if I actually can do that. I don't know if I actually can. Champions League, that's not it. This menu is always so laggy on the, on FIFA, I don't really know why. Okay, so we're here. FIFA World Cup qualifiers. So in our group we've got Sweden, Poland, Bulgaria, Belgium, uh, ourselves and the Czech Republic. Uh, the favourites are basically uh, us and Belgium. But um, the Czech Republic seem to be playing, playing really well. And Poland are not that bad of a team. We're actually second right now, so um, in the place we need to be, basically. We have to be in the top two to go to the World Cup, I believe it is, or something like that. But, yeah, so this was kind of a good, nice episode. I did manage to get you guys three games, um, and I finally scored one. I got an assist. So in three games that I got, um, one goal and one assist, which is not too bad. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of happy with this episode. In the next episode, 
the games are against Liverpool, Celtic, Chelsea, uh, Chesterfield, I believe that is, Leicester, Atletico Madrid, Cardiff, Czech Republic and Poland. I'll probably stop after this one to be honest because I doubt I'll get three games before the international friendly. I might actually play against Poland again because um, I think I've played, both times I've played, I've played the second game for France. So that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up down below. Comment feedback so I can make these videos better for you guys. Subscribe for episode 16 coming out soon. This was your boy Zach and I'll see you next time. Peace.